are very good with the drawing, so they will make sure they draw that car perfectly. So three boxes. These are the three cars. Solve 
questions. But physically, what does it mean? That is what I am trying to <coughs> discuss here. So, I will discuss it with one example. Suppose there is a swimmer, there is a swimmer who can swim, who can swim, his capability is to swim at, let's say, 2 meter per second. 2 meter per second is his capacity. So, if a, if a swimmer has a capacity of swimming 2 meter per second, okay, and there is a river flowing, river is flowing with, let us say, this is the river. The river is flowing like this, 3 meter per second. And here is the swimmer, here is the swimmer. Swimmer can swim with 2 meter per second. Okay, so with what speed the swimmer can move forward? 5. Okay, his capability is his relative velocity. Ready? The capability of the swimmer is his relative velocity compared to the water. Water can either help his movement or oppose his movement. But his capability is 2 meter per second, which will be its relative velocity with respect to water, no matter how the water is moving. Ready? Okay? So, in upstream direction, it will be 3 plus 2. Downstream. Sorry, downstream. Now, if the swimmer is going in this direction, suppose he is trying to swim like this, then what will be its velocity? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Which direction? This way. Okay. The swimmer will move that way, 1 meter per second. But swimmer, what? Swimmer will feel, swimmer will feel that he is going forward with this capital. No. You will shh. someone standing on the ground. Someone standing on the ground. What? That person will feel where the swimmer is going? Backwards. Standing on the ground will feel one meter per second. Ready? When swimmer is swimming on the water, okay, then you will feel that he is moving forward. With respect to water, you will feel his velocity. Okay? So, water will come to rest. Related to water, the observer is going with? 1 meter. 2. So, relative velocity is his capability. Okay? On top of it, the water can add or subtract its velocity. Ready? So, this river, uh, flowing river problem is very common where at times they will tell you that in a still water the swimmer can swim with this much velocity. So, all those things you have to solve. Okay. Please write down the uh, question similar to that. Swimmer can swim with velocity u. A swimmer can swim with velocity u. U is the velocity of a swimmer, its capability is U. Okay? And water in the river is flowing with velocity V. Water in the river is flowing with velocity V. Okay? What swimmer does is, swimmer moves forward a distance D and then comes back a distance D. Upstream then downstream. D distance, both sides. Come back to the same location. Find out the time taken by the swimmer to do so. It, it, it's simple, straightforward. D divided by U plus V plus D divided by U minus V. Yes or no? Downstream time, upstream time. Okay? But U cannot be less than V. U cannot be less than V. It will not be able to come back. You just go to the C. So you have 2 UD divided by U square. 
squared minus b squared. This is the answer. Okay. Let's solve one last question on relative velocity. Then we will move forward. Here is a numerical. Please, all of you, focus here. There is this tower of 100 meters. A tower is there, 100 meters. You are you are throwing a ball up with 10 meter per second, and at the same time you are throwing a ball down 10 meter per second, and the ball can go and then it will not hit the ground. It can go down also. Okay, like this, and this ball will follow the same path if it goes behind. Okay, you need to find out, guys, right? you need to find out what time will meet. G is 10, take G as 10. Try to solve it using the relative velocity concept. What? I am saying that if they have to meet, they can meet between all they can be down as well. Four seconds. Four. Five. In our area, for any condition here, how many of you got five seconds? One, two, three, four, five. No one else. Should I solve it? Okay, now tell me initial velocity of approach is how much? 10 plus 10, 20. 20 is the velocity of approach. And acceleration of approach is how much? 0. Both of them are getting accelerated down only, right? So, acceleration approach is zero. This is approaching, this is going away, so A minus A is zero. Okay? Distance of approach is 100. So, S equal to UT plus half A T square is 2. S is 100, U is 20 into T, so T is 5 seconds. Okay. So relatively it looks like a constant velocity motion. Okay. No doubts? Alright? No doubts, right? Nothing? Okay, so this finishes the first chapter. Motion in one day, kinematics one. Okay.